Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Good. Thanks for having me on today. Well, thanks for doing this with me. Um, so basically, um, we'll take a, a, just a little bit to discuss. Um, first, I can't believe that it's 2024. Um, and so everybody, hold on. Cellular data. Let's hope that works. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Hi, Sienna. Yep. Perfect. Um, our internet's being weird with all the wind and stuff that we've had. So, um, anyway, so yes, cannot believe that this is 2024. Um, and you know, with the new year, everybody wants to do those new year's resolutions, uh, lose weight, get in shape, get healthy, you know, whatever that may look like for different people. Um, and so I wanted to just take a few minutes today and kind of talk about your journey, how you got started, what exactly you do, um, and how impactful your program is for those people who are done, uh, like I was with yo-yo dieting and killing it in the gym and not getting results. Um, so let's, let's talk, let's start with, uh, what made you say enough is enough. Oh, I love, listen, um, so first of all, I'm a certified health coach and I've been doing it for two and a half years. And I have so many stories, right? But I'll be honest with you, my favorite story is mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, and the reason is because um, it has changed. It has changed the trajectory of my life truly in a lot of ways. But um, so I've been in the gym for 21, 22 years. Don't. That's a long time, I know, but um, but I, I did that. I, I worked out. I love exercise. I like. I love fitness, and I did that for a really long time. And but in 2020, which let's just be real, 2020 was um, it was a well, it was a crap sandwich yes. for everybody. Right? <laughs> like it really was. Um, <laughs> but for the Allens, for my family, it was it was even it was even bigger than that. Like our family went through a really, really, um, hard, hard season. Mm -hmm. And, uh, we were walking through some, some really hard, hard things and hard, a very, very difficult time. Um, and in doing that, uh, as a mama and as a wife, I, I did, I took care of the urgent, like I did the urgent mm -hmm. and I just let the important kind of go to the side, the urgent, was making sure that my family was okay. The urgent was making sure that 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 they were that they were taken care of. Right. The important was my health. But I just put that to the wayside. I just put that to the side and I just did that. So um it 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 took several months for everything just to kind of settle down. And and I remember in the very beginning beginning right right before 2021 started I, I i looked in the mirror and i didn't i didn't know who that was anymore mm -hmm. i didn't recognize myself and not physically yes i put on weight uh just from stress and and all the things i was about 30 pounds heavier than i needed to be um and i but when i looked in the mirror i just didn't i didn't know who that was mm -hmm. anymore and um my my oh my my phone's telling me a lot of things um but i i felt like i didn't know who, who that was anymore mm -hmm. and um my 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 mind was broken <laughs> like literally my mind was broken i was i was hearing things in my head i had this loop going you're not good enough mm -hmm. um you you, sh you should have known better you you failed Right. That's what was happening in my brain. So I was broken and my mind was broken. My, my body was broken. It, it hurt. I had, I had, uh, my legs were swollen. My ankles were swollen. My hands were swollen. Um, and then my heart was broken because I knew that I, that I, that my family deserved better. And, and, um, and that I, that I deserved better and they, they weren't getting the best version of Karen Allen. They weren't given, they weren't getting the best version of their mama. They weren't getting the best version of my husband wasn't getting the best version of me. And you know what, even more so I wasn't getting the best version of me. So y'all here's the deal. 
So I said to myself, Seth, you better get yourself together. And this is what you're going to do. You are going to, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to get your life back. So long story short, um, about 12 days into my yes, like I'm going to make this happen. Um, I severed my Achilles, uh, my Achilles, I severed it like done. So um, I don't know if you, anybody knows what that's like, but it ain't easy, right? So I, I here I was thinking that I was going to get, I was going to work out, I was going to lose weight, I was going to do all the things, and I had to lay on the couch, and I had surgery, and I had all these things. Well, let's just say this, when that happens to you, you put more weight on than you really wanted, yes. and I was so frustrated, and the Lord allowed a a, a person to just come right in front and say, um, hey, listen, I am, I, I, I've been doing this, this, uh, this um, amazing, what I would say, a life-changing opportunity. Mm -hmm. And it has, it really has nothing to do with just what you eat, but it really is all about um, nutrition and health. And I was like, sign me up. So I said yes to that. And within four months, I lost 30 pounds. I, um, 31 inches, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, this was incredible. Uh, and a couple months into that is when I said, if it worked for me, I bet there's people that this would work for too. Mm -hmm. So I said yes to changing people's life. I became a certified health coach and, um, and I get to help people do what I couldn't do by myself. Right. And so that for me, that, that's kind of where I started. Um, and now I get to help people show up and, and lose weight. But again, it really, it really is not just about losing weight. That's important, but it's about, about understanding what it's like to take your health back right. change it, and, um, and, and give your best of all. So that's kind of how I started this, this whole thing. Yeah. It's good. Awesome. Well, and I can totally relate because 2020, all the gyms shut down. Um, so basically the only exercise we were getting was, you know, going for walks, you know, cause you can't go to the gym. Um, and I will say for me, 2021 was worse than 2020. <laughs> um, 2021 was the year that, um, I found out I had a blood disorder, ended up with blood clots in my lungs. That was fun. Um, and then I blew out both my ankles at the same time because I'm a super klutz. Um, and so that was, I, I will say though, it still took me, um, a, it still took me till what, August of 23 to finally say enough is enough and I need help. Um, I can't do it on my own. And so a lot, I mean, I did, um, you have good intentions. I, I guess I should say that you start off with good intentions and then life happens and gets in the way. Um, so for somebody who is looking in the mirror right now, this is January. I saw somebody post the other day, um, you know, how many people made it past the first week in, in their resolutions of getting to the gym and all that. And, um, if you didn't, don't, don't hate yourself, you know, pick it up again, just, start the next day and pick it up and move forward. Don't, don't just wallow, I guess. But for somebody who's wanting to make that change, somebody who's, who's watching this, who says enough is enough. I don't recognize me. I don't like what I see. And I just feel stuck in this loop of I'm going to do it. And then things happen. And I, I, you know, one step forward, two steps back. What, what is, What's the starting point? Hmm. Well, well, first of all, um, I think a lot of people struggle with with understanding that that doing this by themselves is hard, mm -hmm. right? Like like trying to to do the 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 exercise or the food, whatever. That's hard, and um, I would just say this: it is probably one of the bravest things to do to ask, Hey, listen, I need help. And it is an, I, I always, it's such an honor when someone says, Hey, Karen, can you help me with this? Can, can you help me with this? Because I'm like, yes, I cannot wait to help you with this. Um, we were not created to be an Island. Like we, we do, we just kind of, we kind of just put ourselves 
like in an island be like, I'll just try to do this on, on myself. But to know that I can, I, I can help someone in this journey is incredible. So for someone who is saying, I don't really know where to start. I don't know how, I don't know what the next thing is to be able to ask somebody who understands. And I've been there like, like I've been there, you know what I mean? I get, I, I get it when someone's like, I'm so tired. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, or I tried this and it doesn't work. Or, I mean, I've tried all the things that I haven't worked and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I would love to stand beside you and walk with you and work with you to what's next. So I think for someone who says, I'm, I'm sick of, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Um, I want something new. I want something different. Um, I, I want to, to, to do what's going to help me physically in my mind and my heart and my spirit. I would say, reach out to somebody. I mean, I would love to help, but there's going to be other people out there who, who mm -hmm. maybe you feel more comfortable with and you can, you can trust them with what's next, yeah. um, sure. to do the next thing because, uh, there is, oh, y'all there's such freedom. There's such freedom when we say, okay, what's next? Yeah. And I think, um, and I, I apologize. I'm still kind of like foggy minded at the moment. <laughs> You're coming off being sick. So I apologize if kind of all over the place. Um, so what made you choose, like, do you, like, do you want to take just a second and talk about the program that you did? What made you choose that over all the other programs out there? And obviously, because you coach the program, you're probably a little biased. Um, I will say I've done several programs, and this is the only program that I've gotten consistent results on. Yeah. Um, and even down to, I have not been 100% on plan for the month of December, just because, like I told you, you know, it's like I, we have one party, and then all of a sudden we have five or six parties, and I'm like, no, I don't want to go to parties anymore. Um, but even being able to maintain, I didn't put on any weight in December. I maintained in that month. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to lose, but, you know, um, Christmas and holidays and parties and all that. Um, so... I would say that I'm probably a little biased too when it comes to the program, but what, what made you choose this particular program? So when I was, um, I had, you know, settled, uh, severed my, uh, my Achilles <laughs> and I had men, I had the, the surgery and I had physical therapy and I was coming out of that. Um, when I was talking to the person who said, Hey, listen, I have, I have this program and they were talking about it. And they were like, and by the way, like, um, you don't, I don't, I didn't have to work out. Like I did. And I was like, wait, what you lost money. I mean, you lost, you lost any kind of weight and you didn't have to work out like what? And, um, I wasn't allowed to go to the gym. I was, I was literally showing up at PT and I, and I had such strict, like strict, like you've got to do this mm -hmm. kind of thing. So I did that. Um, and so when they said I lost 30 pounds in this money and I never set, set foot in a, a gym, I was like, sign me up, right. <laughs> sign me up. And so that is for me. Um, and a lot of people say, oh my gosh, how could you lose weight and not, not work out? And because what, one of the things that works so well is, oh, I ate six, six times a day, which sounds but I ate six times a day um, and they were incredibly art the, 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 they were already finished the, I just was able to do that that well never set, never set foot in the gym ever mm -hmm. um, lost the 30 pounds lost all that kind of thing and then I was able to hit the gym mm -hmm. so there's a lot of folks out there who don't um, they don't want to work out they, they didn't they never really have they don't want to so I can help you with that then there's people who say, I want, I would love to lose weight, but I also want to build muscle. I can help you with that too. So for me, it was, uh, initially it was like, I just need to lose weight. I wasn't allowed to work out. I wasn't allowed to go to the gym. And then when I hit my goal weight and my PT said, Hey, you're finished. You're allowed to leave now. I was like, okay, well now I can hit the gym again, which was really, really <laughs> incredible. Um, but when, when, when you eat 
six times a day. It's a small, small, um, like five of those are small little uh, meals. They're macroed already out. Um, no one has to prep. You don't have to figure that out. It's already done. And then you've got a coach to help you walk through that. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Um, it's a game changer. Yes. It's a game changer. It really is. And I will say for me, um, like, you know, like I said at the beginning, I was, I was done. Um, I had been back in the gym consistently since April of 2023. So last April. Um, and I wasn't getting results. I spent 16 weeks in the gym and I lost one pound. Um, and you could say, oh, well, you were building muscle too. Okay. Yeah, maybe. But, you know, when I got on the, the program in August, middle of August, um, to the end of this year, I have lost 37 pounds and still been building muscle. Incredible. So, so good. And, and I will say, and I think I may have told you this before, but I despise cooking. And to be honest with you, um, when other people I saw doing this program were having success on it, and then I would say, what are you doing? And they'd go, oh, I'm doing this. And, you know, this is how it works. And I'd be like, you lost me at cook a meal. Yes. I don't like, I hate to cook. Um, I want a gourmet meal. I don't know how to cook a gourmet meal. So it's macaroni and cheese and hot dogs, you know, like that's where we were. Right. Um, and I got kids, so they love macaroni and cheese and hot dogs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say for me, the, the, the meal prepping that I've had to do for the one meal a day, the meals are delicious. They're, I would, I would venture to say most of them are 30 minutes or less um we're not talking like you have to have a culinary arts degree to make a decent meal yeah. um and even being able to tailor those meals like we did um the other night we did beef and broccoli um like a a, a chinese beef and broccoli kind of thing with the soy sauce and everything and mine was on cauliflower rice but my kids and my husband had re uh, regular rice so even it's it's not that now I'm having to cook a meal for myself and then a totally separate meal for the family. We just tailor that meal. So um, one of my favorites is the mini barbecue meatloafs. Um, and we make those and I get that with mashed or not mashed potatoes. Sorry. I get that with green beans and then or asparagus or broccoli or something like that. Some kind of green vegetable. Um, and then we make a pot of mashed potatoes for the rest of the family because who doesn't love meatloaf and mashed potatoes <laughs> right, right um but that's been very impressive i think to me because in 2017 my husband and i together went on a plan um where it was um high protein low carbs um we meal prepped the six meals a day we we ate our body weight in boiled chicken which you can only really honestly eat so much of before you just want to gag yeah. um sure. and but we both we both lost a good bit of weight that way we were working out together we were eating the same thing but we still had to cook a meal for our kids so our grocery bill didn't necessarily double or triple, but when you're talking, I'm having to buy this many pounds of chicken or this many pounds of ground turkey just for me and my husband. And then I've got two growing kids. You know, my, my grocery bill was astronomical and that was before inflation was so bad. Um, and so I will speak to the cost because I know a lot of people that's going to be the deciding factor is how much is this, this going to cost me? Um, and I will say, that was something that weighed on my mind for a, the few a few months and i had told you that too was i got to the point where enough is enough and i either need to take that step and and trust that god's going to provide a way for me to be able to afford this um or i'm just going to continue in this vicious loop-de-loop -loop cycle and i'm going to be miserable um and i will say Say from my standpoint, the cost, again, everything I need is included in the kit that I get each month. I get to pick the food that I want. So if I pick something one month and I don't like it, I don't have to keep getting that. 
um, and buying for the kids for their school snacks and snacks throughout the day when they're home, um, and then their meals, it really has not, not cost our family a huge, like it hasn't been a huge additional cost. It's not been a burden, if 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 that makes sense. Yes. Um, so I guess um, what what would be the next step? Somebody who's watching who says, okay, you know what? I'm, I, I want to talk more. How do they get in contact with you? What can they expect um, from the plan? Um, and what can they expect um, from having you or anybody else as a coach? Because they might know other people yeah. that do this as well. What, what can they expect from their coaches in this? And then is there an additional charge for that coaching? Great, all of those are great questions. So, um, so you can, if you are like, hey, listen, I just, I'd love to know more information. I'd love to know kind of what's next. You can just message me. You just, you know, Facebook message me if you want to um, and say, okay, you know, what's next? And for me, it's, um, I can show you my before and afters. I can show you, um, I usually use like a, a little, um, uh, I did this, gosh, two and a half years ago, just a little bit video that I, that I made to say, hey, look, this is what's going on. Um, and that kind of fills in any blanks. But also I do a, um, just a, a short little intro to say, hey, let's hear where you, where you want to go. What's, what's your heart? Where, where do you want the most help for? Um, and then if, if for me as a coach, and I, I love, I cannot believe I get to help coach my friends, my family, other people have never met. Um, but basically I would give you a whole eight days of this is what's next, this is what's next, this is what next. Um, and then it's it's every once, every like once a week, I'll check in and say, all right, how's it going? And what that does is it's, it's accountability. And accountability is huge. Um, and that sounds sometimes really scary, but really accountability says, I, I am here for you. Right. How can I help you? Right. Um, which is really, really encouraging. And that's really at the end of the day, you know, whether whether you pick me as your uh, as your coach or if they're like you said, like you said beautifully, if there's somebody else that 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 is is someone that's a, a different fit for you, um, my gosh, we're just here to 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 help you do the next thing for your health mm -hmm. because you're worth it. So um, it is an honor to always walk beside somebody who's who's ready to take their health back here's what i know is you're absolutely worth it your health yes your health is worth yes. it your family is worth it you're worth it and um and so i just i just can't believe i get to long to to do the the thing with you that's yes. i mean and i and i it's an honor to do that yeah. So let me ask you this, um, and we'll we'll start to wrap up. But um, so somebody who's looking at this and and they're they're looking at the expense and everything. What is the? And I know it's going to be different for everybody depending on how much they need to lose. But what is the average amount of time that somebody spends on what we call on plan and um, getting that that same you know, five in one kit, um, what, how long can you expect to be on? Because I've been doing it since August and I'm not to my goal weight yet. So I still have a little ways to go, but, um, I guess in general, how long do you see people that are on the full plan for how long? Great question. Um, and again, this is, this is, Every, everybody's different, you know, I mean, everybody's different, but what I typically see is usually about 10 pounds uh, a month, um, give or take sometimes, sometimes like I've had people lose 10 pounds in our first week, which I'm like, right. that's incredible. Um, but I usually just say, if you think 10 pounds for the first month um, is, is pretty normal. So if someone says, hey, I've got 40 pounds to lose, I always think, okay, you know, give it about four months ish. Um, and then it always, I always say it's going to take another month. What we do is, is a beautiful 
transition so that um, you know it, it it's not just it's not just like oh hey I hit my goal weight and now I can eat whatever I want like that's right. Not um, and another thing too is what I love about this is it is all about habits and mm -hmm. mindsets. So I can give you, I mean, I could set you up with food all day long and I could tell you, this is how much you eat. This is what you eat. Don't eat all the things. But when you learn what it's like to have a mindset shift and a, a, a healthy habit shift, mm -hmm. um, my gosh, it's that right there is, it's going to, it's a beautiful marriage. Yes. Um, so I would say about, you know, you could 10, 10 pounds ish, um, okay. every, every, every month. Um, and if it's, if it's something that you really, really want to do, I'm just going to encourage you to reach out. I would love, love, love to yeah. have Absolutely. And so having said that, um, um, sorry, hold on. <laughs> that is okay. Hey, sister, I know, I know, I get it. Yeah, the thought comes in and then it runs away before I can. Yeah make it stay still <laughs> anyway um so i guess yeah so i will say what what could somebody expect in their first week i know i've 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 had friends and they say i, I want to lose weight but i don't want to give up xyz um and i think on some level there has to be a giving up of something even if it's not permanent um, and so I think that that's where I was headed with that question is when you say you have that transition period. So how, cause obviously, you know, most people don't want to spend tons and tons of money to lose weight, to just gain it all right back when they come off the plan. Um, so what do you guys have in place that sort of protects that, that continues to help me be successful year two, year three, year four, and not go sliding back off the wagon and yeah. end up in the mud pit and wallowing again. It, it, it really is. Um, it's, it's the, it's when you say, okay, I choose to, to take the, what I know is going to work, which is mindset and which is habits. I, mm -hmm. I mean, to me that that's it. And, and people are like, oh gosh, it's so hard to give up this or whatever. First of all, it, it usually is just a short, it's a sacrifice. Right. Be real. It's a, it, there's going to be sacrifice, but it's not forever. Um, you know, a lot of people say, okay, well, I love my wine and I want to drink wine. And I'm like, okay, well, first of all, get, just give me, give me a couple weeks and then mm -hmm. let's see yeah. what that looks like. Um, but it really is truly about saying this is, this is worth doing right. it well. Yeah. Mindset. Um, I mean, gosh, mindset is huge with this. Yeah. Um, along with sometimes it's going to take a sacrifice, but trust me, it's worth right. it. Um, we also just started just, just real quick. Um, it, for those who have said, Hey, listen, I really would love to do the, the shot, which is a medically supported weight, weight loss. Um, you know, I'm able to help you with that too. So maybe, you start, maybe, maybe I've got somebody out there who said, I just started with the shot and, and I can actually help you walk through that as well, which people are like, well, why would it, why would I need that? Because I need you to make sure that you're taking enough uh, protein. You've got to have protein. Um, I also want to help you to make sure that you are um, not just not eating, which a lot of times when you're on that, Mm -hmm. uh, the shot, you just don't eat. You're not hungry. Yeah. And, um, that isn't great for your body either. No. So, um, I, I can help you with that as well, which is such an honor awesome. as well. Um, okay. That's good to know. Yeah. Cause I do have some friends that have done that. Um, and I just, I, I feel like one, this, this journey, and I've told you to like, sometimes it's hard to articulate it exactly and have it make the sense that it makes in my head. Um, but when when i hear people say i don't want to give up xyz i think sometimes you have to be brought to that point where maybe right now you're still hanging on to all these things that you you like their comfort things you don't want to get rid of them um and when you get to that, that point that's where i was um you know for me it was a financial thing and i just i don't want to put us in the poor house and 
Um, I kept using that as an excuse. And then when I saw other people having better results than me and all the time that I was putting into the gym and not seeing results, that's when I was like, enough is enough and I'm going to do what it takes. Um, and so, yeah, if, if you're one of those people and you're like, oh, this sounds great and I need to lose weight and I need to get healthy, but I'm just not willing to put out the money. I'm not willing to give up my wine. I'm not willing to give up breads and pastas and things like that. Just just keep watching. I think is that would be my thing is just watch the people who around you are doing this. Um, stay in touch with Karen um, because, you know, whether you choose her or not, um, or whether you choose to go with this right now, or it takes you another six months to make that choice, you can still message her, talk to her, watch her posts. She's got the befores and afters of all the people that she's you know, working with and training. And um, But don't lose hope. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you know, like I said, some people, the first time they hear about it, they're doing it, they're having success, they're moving on. Other people are stubborn, like me, and it takes us a little bit longer to wrap our heads around it before we make the jump. But um, I'm here to talk to anybody as well. Um, I, I, I met Karen um, just last year, actually. Yeah, so we, we just met back sometime between April and August of yeah. last year at the gym yeah. um, and just sort of started off a friendship and then that blossomed into, hey, okay, I need help and I know that you can help me. So, you know, what are we going to do? Um, but I'm here. I'll point you back to Karen. You can always message her um, on her Facebook or Instagram accounts. Um, but if you're ready to take that, that next step, um, and I will say too, um, this is not just a program for women, um, that yep. this is for, for men and women. Um, and I think that, um, like it's been very instrumental in my life. Um, I have struggled again with, you know, the past couple of years, just fluctuating, I would lose some and then I'd gain it back and then I lose some and I'd gain it back. And I've, you know, like I said, for me, I've been able to, to drop, um, what did I say? 30, 37, 38 pounds since August. Which is incredible. Um, and, and like there are days when I go, I still have so far to go. And then I go, wait, but look at where I was. Yes. Look at where I've come from. So even when that mindset starts to change of, well, you know, this is where I was, or this is where I still have to go. And it, it still seems hard. Um, I can look back and go, but look at where I was only five months ago. Um, and that, that to me has been amazing. So I appreciate you. I appreciate your friendship um, and this journey that we're walking together. Um, and so when I do the repost, I will put links to, um, your Facebook and your Instagram so people can reach out to you. Is there anything else you want to share? Yes. I want to tell you how freaking proud I am of you, Grace. I mean, <laughs> like at the end of the day, I'm just, I'm just so proud of you. You, you said, I want to do this and then you've done it. Mm -hmm. Um, it always, it always just hits so deep when I think about the fact I watched you at the gym, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I was like, oh my gosh, who is this chick? She kills it at the gym. Like you literally work, I mean, like, I'm like, I don't even know that I could work out with her. She's just, she is so incredible at this. And when you reached out and said, okay, Karen, I just, can you just fill me in? Just fill me in on what this is about. Like you said, you were a health coach. What does that look like? Um, and, and then it took a couple of months and you were like, okay, now I'm ready. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just proud. I'm so proud of you. Um, you are an incredible example to your, to your boys. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're watching their mom do something that is pretty extraordinary. Yeah. And, um, well, my, and, and I, oldest, my oldest runs track and cross country. And before I guess that was back at the beginning of December. He came home crying, not really crying, but you know, <laughs> they had made them do push-ups with a 45 pound plate on their back. 
And he's like, I just hurt so bad. And I was like, well, do you want me to come? Maybe I should come lead a workout or you can come to the gym with me. He goes, no, you're worse. You're worse than coach. I'm not going to go work out with you. <laughs> you are. And I love it. And it just, it, it's just, um, I don't know, as a coach, uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm so proud of you. I'm so, what an example. Um, thank you so much for just giving us an opportunity to chat today. I really Absolutely. am excited uh, for what's, what's good. And for those people who are like, oh gosh, is this only for people who are local? Like, cause we live in Monroe. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I mean, I, I coach people, I've coached people who are in England, which is really nice. Cool. Um, I've coached people all across, um, I mean the state, yes, but also the entire country. And so, um, I get to help everybody. It's not just if you just live local. Um, so I'm, I literally am here to help you. I love if, it. If Ready. That's yeah. awesome. awesome. Well, I appreciate you. And um, I am so grateful that God allowed our paths to cross and that we have become friends and that you've been able to help me on this. Um, so yeah, I like I said, I will post um, in the repost um, links to your social media account so people can reach out to you if they have any questions. And I appreciate it. It's been fun. Yes. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks, guys. I love you. Y'all. Love you, you too. All right. Bye. Bye.